welcome to my kitchen. Um, today we are going to open a young coconut. I have myself a beautiful young coconut here and I'll show you how to get into it so that we can get uh, we can get the goodness of what's going on in here. Let me put on my my apron here. My mom made me this apron. It's going to keep this here off the mess that I might make. It's been known to happen. Okay, so you need a cleaver, sharp knife, and then what we're going to do is just turn it on the side and we're just going to cut and we're going to shave off the, um, the top. Once you've exposed the, uh, the head of the coconut here, you're just going to take your hand cleaver and you're going to remove your other hand and you're going to just give it a good whack and tip, tip the cleaver and let me see, exposes, exposes the meat on the inside. Would have been handy if I had made it a little bit bigger, but it's okay. We can work. So, I'll actually just, because I didn't bring a knife over, I'm going to use just this spoon edge. And I'm going to take the little cap off. Got my Vladimix. Put all of that good water in the bag because I'm going to make a smoothie. So, generally, I try to get this hole big enough that I can get my spoon into it. All right, we did okay. So, I turned my spoon um, so that I can push it down so the smooth end, as I get it in there, and I push it down. And this way, I'm peeling the, uh, the meat off the inside and you'll be able to add that to the smoothie. Like I said, it's ideal if I just made it a little bit whole, a little bit bigger. Um, I don't want to get back in there with the cleaver. Water. Just turn it upside down and get some more of this meat out. I said if the hole was bigger, <laughs> there would be a lot in there. There it comes. That's a good batch, too. Perfect. All right. And now we've got the coconut totally cleared out and we are ready to go ahead and make lunch for. Grandpa and I, and that's just another video. Thanks for joining me here in my kitchen. Bye-bye for now.